My name is Kim Martin. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at Stellenbosch University in South Africa. This is my application for the Software Sustainability Institute International Fellowship for 2022. I was born and completed school in the United Arab Emirates. I completed my undergraduate studies at UCT in Cape Town. I spent about seven years working and studying in Edinburgh, Scotland and learned R during my PhD. When I came back to South Africa, I spent some time working as a data analyst before starting my first postdoc. These experiences confirmed that I much preferred coding to lab work and this realization led me to my second postdoc. I'm currently a postdoctoral fellow in the Uxilo group. We are supported by the Hans Marensky Chair in Advanced Modeling of Eucalypt Wood Formation. The Hans Marensky Foundation's mandate is to support scientific research and sustainable industry in South Africa. Research in Uxilo spans a range of scales from molecular to population level, and projects range from purely experimental to purely computational. I'm working to develop a knowledge representation system to encompass qualitative and quantitative concepts, data, and computational models relevant to the group. I also have a mandate to establish research data management best practices. I also support students by writing code in collaboration with them, introducing GitHub as I do so. I've also been teaching some students to code by working progressively with them. I found myself enjoying teaching coding concepts to novices in my group and decided to complete a carpentry's instructor training to do it better. Around the same time, earlier this year, I attended the Use R conference. A keynote by Heidi Seibold introduced me to the RSE term. It was an emotional experience, a sense of discovering my identity more than motivating. I then joined the RSE Society and attended the September RSE conference. I was then recruited to a panel discussion as an enthusiastic newcomer to the field. There are many computation and data intensive research organizations in South Africa. However, there is limited or siloed RSE presence in South Africa. There is an online forum called RSSE Africa, which resulted from an open life science mentorship and training program in 2020. Its aim is to create a community of practice for research software and systems engineers in South Africa. However, it suffered from the effects of COVID related lockdowns. An online platform exists, but little community as yet. This screenshot shows all the 2021 activity. I recently had the idea that starting a special interest group in Stellenbosch University might be a way forward. My plan is to recruit stakeholders from across Stellenbosch University with a mandate to assess the existing state of uh, research software engineering support in Stellenbosch University and propose new approaches to improve the quality of research outputs. My vision is a sustainable community of practice at Stellenbosch University and possibly support for establishment of an RSE group. I so far have interest and support from the head of postdoctoral research support and a pro prom prominent research fellow at Stellenbosch School of Data Science and Computational Thinking. The special interest group idea involves a series of steps, including recruiting stakeholders and supporting the process of generating a proposal and hopefully having it enacted. I have some ideas about those steps, but for my uh, Software Sustainability Institute proposal, I would like to focus on the raising awareness and generating interest steps. I had the idea to hold an RSE supported research proposal, RSR competition, targeting non-RSE researchers with prizes for the most interesting, innovative or influential proposals. The idea is a no strings attached prize, not funding to carry out proposals, although good, good proposals may find funding regardless. Proposals must include an RSE component and must detail how RSE support could help them conduct better or novel research in their domain. In the first five months, I would plan to develop a competition brief, advertise the competition, and deliver a webinar style presentation and Q&A to interested researchers. In the following 10 months, I would advise participants on their developing proposals and attempt to connect participants with RSEs from national and international communities for advice and feedback. I would then involve the SSI in the judging and prize giving. My plan would be to compile all suitable proposals as part of the RSE special interest group needs assessment activity. The expected benefits of the RSR competition to RSE in South Africa would be through participating researchers being motivated to think about how RSE would support their work. For Stellenbosch University and the RSE Special Interest Group, proposals motivating for access to RSE skills could support creation of an RSE group. For the UK and the Software Sustainability Institute, the competition may foster connections and potential collaborations between UK RSEs and South African researchers. And personally, it sounds like tremendous fun and I expect to learn a lot. Thank you for your consideration.